Morning, Greg Gillies here with another morning walk talk. So this morning I want to talk to you about overwhelm. Um, I woke up this morning after having a beautiful long weekend away at the beach and my mind was racing. Um, so many thoughts going in my head, to-dos, um, thinking about projects that I'm working on, things that I want to work on, serving my clients. And there was a huge rush of overwhelm. Um, so I want to talk about, uh, I guess, the tools that I use to overcome overwhelm. So first I'll talk about what I used to do. The old Greg would have then gone straight to his phone, he would have started work, he would have powered up on caffeine and coffee to charge him into it, which would have activated his fight or flight response system, he would have gone into sympathetic nervous system dominance, and he would have ruined his day because he would have turned that small amount of thinking and overwhelm into something really big that uh, didn't need to be that big because it's literally just our egoic mind trying to protect us and trying to control the situation and when we overthink and we overanalyze things get out of control. So what do I do instead? So I do a lot of things but I'm going to talk to you about three of them. The first one which is really key is to download whatever is in your head on paper which is called journaling. So if I get up in the morning and I'm overwhelmed and my head is racing I like to dump all of those thoughts onto paper, the to-dos, the negative thoughts, the positive thoughts, and just release it all. And it does, it gives you a huge amount of release if you just put all of those thoughts on paper. But I always finish my journaling session with writing down three things that I'm most grateful for right there and then. They don't need to be huge, they could be small, but always finish with th three things that I'm grateful for. Number two, Walking. Going for my morning walk is the thing that I love the most. Now, I used to go for a morning walk with headphones in, but all I was doing was ramming outside influence information into my head, and it actually used to make me worse. Even if it was positive, motivating, I would listen to Oprah talks, I would listen to great stuff, but again, I wasn't listening to myself. I wasn't listening to my intuition. I wasn't just relaxing my mind and just letting my creative thoughts flow. So I don't take headphones with me on walks. And I wasn't even taking my phone, but I do now because I love to do these videos for you on my morning walk because it's when I'm most creative. The third thing, which is really, really key, is breathing. Deep breathing, oxygenate the body. Um, there's a lot of people you can follow on breathing techniques. You just need to Google breathing techniques. Wim Hof is really amazing on breathing techniques, but he also primes you for cold water exposure, but we'll go into that in another day. So when walking, I just breathe it in. I breathe in the nature. I breathe in the smells. I listen to the nature. I just enjoy and I just, I, I just let my head, I just let my head flow. I let my head release and then I start to relax and yeah it really primes me for an amazing day. So again it's natural to feel overwhelmed, it's natural to have thoughts racing in your head, literally it is your conscious mind or your egoic mind that's trying to protect you, um, it's in fight or flight right and it's not about stressing that you're overwhelmed, it's about having tools in your toolbox that you can overcome them so that you can start your day on the right foot and you can set yourself up for an amazing day. So on that note, have an amazing day and I look forward to my next video. Cheers.